Hello, everybody. Jared Gucci here, Mr. Internet Tips, and happy Saturday to you. Uh, you might hear the little one in the background here because she's in my office jumping around and playing. And uh, I wanted to really create this video. Normally, I'm not I'm not working on the weekends, but I wanted to create this video because I was messing around with the new Facebook open social graph and I uh, found something pretty amazing and I wanted to share this with you right away. So basically, what I discovered is you can take your blog post and or any content that's on your website and turn it into an administrative page on Facebook. And uh, basically, there, there are some really powerful benefits behind that. And I'm going to I'm going to kind of show you how it works. I'm going to I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, there are some things that you have to do before it works. And there's some information that you need to put inside of your header tags on your website in order for it to function properly. And I'm going to share with you the the actual blog post that walks you through how to do it. But I, I'm going to show you how powerful this uh, this feature can be. So we're looking at. A blog post that I just created about you know turning turning your blog post into a Facebook admin page and basically all I have to do in order to create that page is just like this post so when I click on the like button here you know of course it asked me if I want to share on Facebook I'm, I'm not going to do that but let's show you what happens once I click on that if I reload this page now You'll see that at the bottom of the post, it says, you know, Jared Gucci and one other person like this. And then you'll see an admin page link over here. I'm the only one that's going to see this link. This will not be visible to other visitors of my website. So when I click on the admin page link, it will take me to a page inside of Facebook. And you can see that the, the title of this page was uh, the same title as the blog post. And then the description is actually uh, the metadata that I set up when I created the post. And then the website is the link to the post. Now, nobody in Facebook will see this page. And there's a little note up at the top that only the administrator will see the page, which is me. But all others will be directed to the actual blog post. So let's say, for example, if somebody was doing a search inside of Facebook. Uh, X that out. So if they were searching and you had some of those keywords in the title of your page, it will show up in the search results. And when they click on it, it will actually take them to the actual blog post. For me, it takes me to a page where I can publish stories that will go onto their newsfeed and uh, I can I can promote and share. But when somebody else inside Facebook clicks on that, it will actually take them to the actual blog post on the website very 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 powerful so I'm gonna post the link to this blog post so you can get all the instructions it will tell you what's required before you set this up and make this function on your website and it's really simple to follow but very very powerful so I encourage everybody to get this installed on their website as soon as possible thank you for watching happy Saturday and go USA